Welcome back. A few days ago, my friend Mark from Mac Effects contacted me. And guess what he sent me? Oh, I am a happy camper. This is so beautiful. This is his Mac SE transparent case. But knowing me, he suggested me to do something different. So guess what I got? I also have a 2C monitor, green monitor. So yeah, you guessed it right. I'm gonna put a green monitor on a Mac SE transparent. So let's see how it goes, let's start. Started when Mark challenged me to install inside a Mac SE a green Apple IIc monitor. So he sent me this beautiful Mac SE and I started. Of course we have to use one of those beautiful Mac Effects transparent cases. Before starting this I did a lot of research regarding discharging CRT monitors. So this is really dangerous. So don't do this if you don't really know how to. Maybe you can see but I was really nervous. At the end everything went right and I lost the fear I had at this procedure. Next step, we gotta take out the drive out. This process is a little bit long and uh, it takes a lot of time. I recommend you to take notes or make photos of how things are so you can put it back together when you finish. Remember the CRT is glass, so be very careful, it's very delicate. Next time removing the power supply. Finally removing the video board. I have both CRTs and I'm gonna dismantle the green one. At the end there was just a little cable stuck there that didn't let me take it out. While I'm here I'm gonna put some dioxid in the potentiometer for the brightness. And clean with alcohol the rest. It's pretty dirty. The motherboard had the battery removed. So I had several options to replace the battery. I selected the button because it's modern, it won't leak, and it fit perfectly. This was the most complicated part. These two things are called yokes, and uh, I had to swap them. Some nice people online told me how to unscrew these. Gotta lose them carefully, and pull them up, then just swap them. You just gotta make sure you keep them facing the same side. And that was easier than I thought. This fan was very noisy, so I 
cut the cables and I put a little switch to turn it on and off whenever I want it. Now I'm gonna work on the metal frame. It shows its edge, it's a little bit rusty. At the end, I decided to just paint it with a chrome paint. It looks a lot better. Now let's start putting it together. Gotta open this clear case first. I think painting the metal case improved it a lot. I did it because being a transparent case, you can see everything inside, so it needs to be neat and clean. Now we gotta fit the new CRT. The Apple IIc monitors have different versions. In this one, the holding brackets were higher than the originals, so I had to go out and buy new screws for them, longer ones. But at the end, it worked out well. Putting everything back together is tedious and you gotta be very, very careful. Double careful because these, remember, it's a transparent case and you can scratch it very easily. Originally, there's a cardboard that covers this board, but I took it off because it really looks nice green. It had to happen. I installed the CRT the wrong side, so I had to take it off and put it the other way. Now that's better. Watching videos for discharging the CRT helped a lot and that's why I learned about the anode cap and how to put it back in and out again. So I recommend you to watch those videos before doing anything like this. I'll put a link on the link notes. Taking the motherboard on and off from this base is really a pain. Try not to hurt yourself or scratch anything while doing it. Always be very careful while working near the tip of the yoke where the glass nipple is. You can break it very easily. Now everything is together, comes the moment of truth. Let's try it. Looks like it's a no-go, but wait, what happened here? Looks like the CRT takes a lot to turn on and also I had to take the brightness all the way up. Looks like we're in business. Now for the RAM and the SCSI. I'm gonna replace the hard drive with a SCSI 2SD device and put some RAM. I had a lot of troubles trying to install the SCSI 2SD software and partitions. I know my friend Ron from Ron's Computer Videos knows a lot about SCSI 2SD. I recommend his channel, he's awesome. He explained me a lot about SCSI 2SD and helped me with the initial setup and partitions. Instead of having to format and install the operating system, Ron recommended me to go to this page from David and Steve blog and downloaded a preloaded 608 image. Then he patiently tried to explain me some things on how to do it on terminal. But you know what, being a visual guy, I prefer to use 
visual applications and uh, instead use Valina Etcher to burn the image into the SD card. It worked perfectly. I know, I know, Ron, sorry, I'm too old for the terminal. Last step was to remove the original LED, a red one, and install a green one, because everything is green in this machine. Because I am clumsy, I broke the original LED holder, so I had to make a new one. Mark also sell me a fun replacement with green LEDs, so I just replaced the original one with this one. I'm gonna hold the drive with hot glue, maybe in the future I'll buy a case for it. Well, here we are. Let's test it and hope for the best. Whoops, what's this? Uh, maybe I have to restart it? Okay, it looked like a hiccup. Let's cross our fingers. There's the hard drive LED, green, like the rest of the computer. As you can see, I also have the mouse. Yes, it's booting up and it's working. I like the way everything comes together. The clear case really enhances the green screen. It looks like a cross between the Borg and Steampunk. I want to thank and congratulate Mark Josadis for the amazing work that he has done with this clear case. It really is a work of art. I'm planning to add more RAM to this computer, add a lot of games and maybe a clear keyboard. Um, maybe a USB one with a Wombat device that it's a USB to ADV converter. If you have any ideas on what else to add, please leave it in the comments. I would love to hear about them. Well, this was a great adventure. Thank you for watching This Is All. And I hope you enjoy it just as I did. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Please, if you can, support me with Patreon and leave comments. I just love comments. Thanks and see you next time. Ha <laughs> ha!